Hello guys! Today, we are going to do some experiments in science. Let's go! This is the first activity. The materials needed are two cups labeled A and B. Cup letter A is half cup mango seeds and half cup of flour. Letter B, meanwhile, has half cup grains of rice and three tablespoons of salt. And we have two plates and a strainer. Let's just focus on cup A and the first plate. What we will do is to separate the mango seeds and the flour using the strainer or a sieve. Let's go ahead and do that. Just pour in cup A to the strainer. And then just do this. This will take a while, so I'm gonna do a time lapse. And there you go. That's how you separate mango seeds from the flour. Let's go ahead and do this again to cup letter B. Let's do what we did on cup A to cup B. Let's just strain the salt from the rice grains. Again, this will take a while, so I'll do a time lapse. And there we go. That's, that is what activity one is. Let's go to the guided questions. This is guide question number one. What method did you use to separate the mixtures? We used sieving because we are using a sieve or a strainer. Were you able to separate the components of each mixture? Why? That is question number two. The answer is yes, because we used a technique in separating mixture, which is sieving. Number three. What have you observed when straining substance with finer particles when combined to substances with large particles? Why? It is easy to separate it because the strainer only let the finer particles go out, while the bigger ones don't. This is the second activity that we will do for today. The materials needed are 10 pieces of paper clips, 10 pieces of thumbtacks, 10 pieces of nails, 1 half cup of sand, 3 tablespoons of salt, and a plate. First thing that we will do is to add up the mixture. Also, we have a magnet. We have the sand right here. Let's just pour out the salt. Three tablespoons of salt. 
10 pieces of paper clips, 10 pieces of nails, and the 10 pieces of thumbtacks. The next step is to use a magnet to attract these uh, things. See, it's attracting them. And there you go. That's the second activity. Let's move on to the guide questions of the second activity. Here are the guide questions in activity 2. Number 1 is, what do you call the process of separating substance in a mixture using a magnet? It is called the use of a magnet. It is also known as magnetic separation. Number 2. Which substance is attracted to a magnet? Metals are attracted to a magnet. What happened to the nails, thumbtacks, paper clips as the magnet is near to it? That is question number 3. The answer is, they got attracted by the magnet. Number 4. What do you call these materials? They are attracted by a magnet, also known as ferromagnetic substance. For activity 3, we will mix together 5 cups of water, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 cup of sand, and half cup of pebbles. Just put it in the 1.5 liter bottle. Let's just pour it using a funnel. And lastly, we have the pebbles. Some don't fit because they're too large. And there you go. These are the this is the result. The next step is to leave this out for 2 minutes. Let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. The timer is up and let's move on to the guide questions. 
Here are the guide questions in Activity 3. Number 1 is, describe the mixture formed. Which material submerged at the bottom of the container? The mixture is a suspension because the solids aren't dissolved in the mixture. The materials that submerged are the sand and the pebbles because they are solids. Number 2. Explain how you were able to remove and separate the mixture. We can separate the mixture by using a cloth filter to separate the solids from the liquid. Number 3. What method can you think that can be done to separate the mixture? I think we can use filtration and sieving. Did you answer the guide questions correctly? If so, leave a like down below. Bye!